Hey everyone, the name is Chris Barocci, welcome to Guitar Tweaks. This is my second guitar myth busting video where I want to show you what happens to your guitar's sound if you swap necks. I have two very good reasons for shooting this video. First, there are still so many who believe that wood doesn't matter at all on solid body electric guitars. I have an interesting video on this subject, you can check it out if you click this link. And second, people seem to forget about necks. <laughs> Whenever someone's talking about wood choices on a guitar, they mainly talk about the body. In my experience, necks are as important as the body. In case you enjoy my videos, please hit subscribe and ring the notification bell, and also check out the description box for additional infos, timestamps, gear links, etc. Some of you guys will recognize this guitar. This is my Strat. I own this guitar for over 11 years now. It's a year 2000 American standard Fender Stratocaster. I have three necks to put on this body. I will play the same thing, clean, slightly distorted and with a bit more overdrive. I will set up the guitar the same way to have the same string action, pickup height. I will use the same strings as well, which is gonna be the uh, vintage nickel Fender 10 to 46. Before I start with the comparison, let me show you the necks first. This is the first neck. It's an all maple Fender neck, a Fender Strat neck, which is actually the original neck of this body, of this guitar. So this is how I bought the guitar with this neck on it. Neck number two has my name on it. <laughs> this was maybe the second or the third neck, cannot remember, on my Strat. It's a great neck with a pretty thick rosewood board and a flat maple uh, neck. This is something I ordered from Warmoth and um, I loved this neck a lot. And neck number three is my Strat's current neck, which is again a Warmoth neck with a 59 profile. It's a little rounder and, and chunkier um, than the others. And it is a baked maple or roasted maple neck with a thinner rosewood board on top. I will play clean first. I'll play the same thing on all three necks basically and then later on I will play something with just a tiny bit of distortion and then sort of like medium crunchy gain. There are a few obvious differences on these three necks. First of all, different tuners, locking Schaller, Fender Vintage, Fender Modern. Then the nut material is different. This one is brass. This one has a graph deck nut and this one has a bone nut. I will avoid playing open chords and open notes for that reason, to uh, sort of eliminate as much as possible um, of those differences. The fret wire is the same on all three necks, which is very important, of course, in a comparison like this. Thank you. 
Okay, so here's the general theory about Fender type necks. Full maple necks will sound sort of brighter, snappier, and maple necks with a rosewood board will sound warmer, a little more balanced, a little more elegant, that kind of stuff. My theory is that wood matters a lot actually, even on solid body guitars, but it's not that simple. You will find full maple neck guitars that will not sound bright and snappy at all. And you will find maple necks with really thick rosewood fretboards that will sound like maple boards do normally. So in a way, I understand people who hate on the term tone wood because most people use it to categorize wood like mahogany and that will sound like this and maple and that will always sound like that. And it's, you cannot really separate wood sounds after their species of wood types. There are different sounding mahogany pieces and different sounding maple pieces. It's all about that specific wood built on your guitar. If that wood has a certain density and weight and uh, everything, that will sound a way. And if you have an identical guitar like yours right next to it and you compare them, they will sound different, unplugged even, not only through an amp. So um, you cannot really generalize wood types. Every piece of wood vibrates differently and absorbs different frequencies. And this unique reaction to the vibrating strings will give every guitar a slightly different character. You can AB 10 identical strats and you will get 10 slightly different strat sounds. And that's not only because of the tolerances of the pickups and the pots and all the components built on a guitar, you will hear the same differences unplugged as when going through an amplifier with those guitars. There are two more really important things about necks. First is the feel, and second is the looks. A rosewood fretboard feels so different under the fingers than a maple fretboard. Rosewood is almost never finished, and maple is almost always finished with nitro or with polyurethane, some sort of a finish. And that just feels very different. And the looks. Your guitar should look cool enough for you to pick it up and play it as much as you can. In this last round, I really want to see how this sort of nasty medium gain strati sound changes or not, depending on the necks on the guitar. <laughs> By now you probably made up your mind anyhow, so I hope it's alright to tell you what I've heard. I wasn't seriously surprised about the result. The old maple neck had, to me at least, the most amount of higher mid-range, upper mid-range, which is that fast attack, that real <clears throat> hit in uh, Strat's sound. And the warmest sounding was the uh, this neck actually, the one with the thickest rosewood board. The neck I'm using on my guitar right now, this one, has a way thinner, almost half the thickness um, of this rosewood board. So uh, this one sounded most balanced out of the three. This one sounded most warm and rich. And the old maple one was, for me at least, the one with the most stratty strat sound. Interesting. Let me know what you think and what you heard in the comment section. And also, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. You guys take it easy, have a nice weekend, and uh, I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs>